Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aquarius. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. All of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of April, but I ask these readings to be timeless and have something you need to hear when you need to hear it. For your cards, Aquarius, I will be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot, Luna Edition. For your person, the Mystical Manga, and if clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Mono. Let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What are some things happening in the daily life? Could be affecting the connection. I was given three cards and neglected to take them. What is happening in the heart space? What intentions does Aquarius have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Now, what is the heart of the matter for Aquarius' person? What is Aquarius' person thinking about the connection right now? What are some things happening in the daily life that could be affecting this connection? What is going on in the heart space? How is Aquarius' person feeling about them? What intentions do they have towards the connection? Wow, a lot of major arcana here on both sides, honestly. Um, and what is a potential outcome? Okay, got a bunch try to jump out. A potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this reading. One more card. Spirit, one more card. Okay. For the heart of the matter for you, Aquarius, we have the Ten of Cups. It's a beautiful energy. It's an emotional fulfillment and a connection. It's a relationship that can really last. It's someone that makes you happy. It's like your heart just feeling full and knowing that there's, you know, there's so much more potential. It's that beautiful energy of the kind of person you could, you know, you could do the big things with, like the trips and the plans and all of that, but all the little things too, like making coffee together, you know, um, laughing you know, <laughs> at, a, at a dumb show while eating Chinese food. You know, it's like the, you could do the little things and the big things because there's just like this natural, um, rapport between the two of you where you feel like you can be comfortable around one another and something just feels right. This is how you could be feeling um, about your person here in April. You could be meeting someone that makes you feel this way or connecting with someone in a very significant way that feels like somebody that you could really truly be with. Um, Pisces energy could be significant there and for the fool we have Aries and for me as a reader also Aquarius. So it seems very clear to me that someone is interested in you. This is spontaneous, could be meeting someone new or could be hearing from someone out of the blue. But this is somebody who I feel like um, has definitely like released some things and cleared some things. If this is someone that you have been connected to for a while, I feel like they've gotten some like really clear about certain things in their life and just let go of like old baggage and old things that have been holding them back because they're feeling more free. They're feeling more spontaneous. It's perfect for April energy, airy season, the, you know, astrological new year that we're all kind of taking a new leap after, um, Many of us, you know, being in our homes for the winter and stuff, kind of stepping out and, and getting out there and doing more things again, seeing people again, obviously, weather's different all over the world, but I'm just getting that springtime vibe, that energy of new beginnings. And um, I feel like there's something about this energy that's almost like love at first sight. Like um, if you know this person or if you don't, you know, it's going to be different for everybody watching this. There's something that the first time they see you, they just know. Like they just know and they and they want to go for it. In your daily life, you've got the king of cups. So more Pisces energy could be significant. But this is, I mean, for me, this is really beginning to feel very sure about who your heart is set on, what it is that you really want. I mean, the, um, 
energy is all about like consciously facing your emotions, realizing what you're feeling, embracing it, and and going forward. You could be meeting somebody that you really fall for. Somebody could definitely be falling for you, but with the King of Cups, like this could get serious. <laughs> this could get real serious. And um, with this showing up in your daily life, could be somebody you see in your daily life. Could be somebody that you're connected to work or, you know, the gym or something like that. Um, I mean, obviously school or, you know, classes you could take, anything, like anything. Um, could be somebody, obviously, that... Um, that you're talking to while you're working, even if they're long distance, it's like there's something about just going about your daily, like your daily life, and all of a sudden you just light up and feel all these emotions. It's it's very positive, and for your person in their daily life, they have the sun. Leo energy could be significant, but there's a lot of happiness here. There's a lot of like genuine. Um, genuine positive energy. It feels like somebody you could laugh with, somebody that just warms you up. The sun is sitting right here in the middle of the reading, which is one of the, you know, probably the most positive card in the tarot. So it kind of shines a light on everything. Even the areas that are challenged and shadowy or things that you're unsure about, like the sun just kind of lights things up. There's something about you that does make this person very happy. And when they think about you, I just feel like, you know, you ever think about someone and you just everything just feels kind of peaceful and warm and you just feel sure. And regardless of what other things happen, there's something about you that makes this person feel in a way that they haven't, they haven't felt before. In your heart space, you have the well. And if you all notice, I'm using a brand new tarot deck. I love it. This is beautiful, inclusive tarot deck. So gorgeous. Um, it has two new cards, the well and the artist, and they both showed up in your reading. And I think that's the first time this has happened in all of these readings. The different cards have shown up. Maybe they showed up in both, but I feel like what that is really about is there's new things. There's unexpected things. If in this connection, this is there, you know, this is someone you knew, you know, or someone that you're kind of used to things being a certain way, it could be like you could be seeing a new side or an unexpected side of them, or you could be meeting someone new altogether. But for your heart space to have the well, this is a beautiful card of everything that we hold deep within, you know, sustaining us and and going within and trusting our source and trusting our center and listening to our heart and being willing to you know, um, take a chance with the things that we're feeling. And it's a very, like, it's a very positive energy. I'm going to go ahead and read because it is a brand new, this is like a brand new deck, just in case there's something in here that, um, that you all need to hear specifically. But for me, it sounds like, um, you are getting very clear about what it is you hold deep within and what's important to you. And that's what's guiding you now. And it's guiding you in a new way. Like you're listening to yourself, maybe in ways that you haven't before. So the well is the birthplace of ideas, inspiration, and transformation. All things are birthed from this creatrix whose knowledge flows freely to those who seek it. Nurturing, opportunity, nature, creativity. Could be getting out in nature, could be doing something, you know, together with somebody where you get out with this beautiful sun and this well energy. Could be nurturing your creativity, but an open heart chakra and an open heart and someone who is listening to their heart, um, abundance just flows through and to you and abundance is everything. It's financial, it's, you know, it's, um, it's, love, it's energy, it's all of these things. And I feel like you are getting in touch with your truth and it's bringing some like really positive, positive energies towards you. For your person in their heart space, we have the justice card. Libra energy could be significant, but this card is the planet Venus. Like this is love. This is beauty. This is balance. This is someone who feels about you the way you feel about them. Could be a significant soul connection, someone you knew that you were meant to be, meet. But I really feel like with this showing up in their heart space, it's like your, your feelings for one another are more similar than you know. Like if you've been questioning like, oh, I have all these feelings for this person. Do they feel the same for me? The answer would be yes with this justice card in their heart space. I feel like there could be some things that they're sorting out, finalizing, taking care of to be really ready for the next step in their life. But what they fe you feel for them, they feel for you. 
your intentions are the five of pentacles and this is very interesting to show up in this placement because the five of pentacles is kind of like it's a challenging energy it's feeling on the outside it's not seeing you know that it's like somebody who's outside and there's the church window and the warmth and everything right there and they're out in the cold and it's like it's right there but they just don't see it because maybe they're focused on the issues and the challenges and and they're not seeing that potential i feel like for this to show up because your intentions is a very positive placement i feel like what it is is you intend to see what there is for you you intend to come out of the cold you are not going to be in a relationship or in a connection with somebody who is making you feel alone or making you feel on your own or abandoned or questioning yourself like you're not going to have that you're going to look up you're going to see the potential of what can be and you're going to go towards the warmth and the welcoming light of that window and you're not going to you have no intentions of um, of putting up with a situation that is not fulfilling for you because you know, like you know that you are worth more. Taurus energy could be significant here, but it's very interesting the way I'm getting that. And it's because of the placement of the card and it's because of what it's next to. It's right next to the sun and the well. And so it's like, you know, the warmth is there. The know, You know, the love is there and you're not going to accept less. So, Spirit, give us a clarifier for this. Give us a clarifier for this. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take them. I'm trying not to make these messages too long, but... Um, but I was told to take them, so I will take them. We have a Two of Swords, a Page of Pentacles, an Ace of Wands, a Three of Wands, and a Wheel of Fortune. Um... There's something that maybe you've been undecided about and it is really time to listen to your heart and kind of get out of your head and take initiative, make a move. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. This is a positive new beginning. I feel like it's so clear that the things that aren't fulfilling for you need to be released and you need to take solid steps towards what you're passionate about and something, with, we've got the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, something that you've been waiting for, something that you've been hoping for is coming your way it's coming in a big way with the wheel of fortune coming in the universe is spinning the wheel things that have been difficult are getting more positive things that have been stuck are getting unstuck that places where you felt kind of you know like in a difficult position or worried or stressed are suddenly going to get easier and more positive but spirit wants you to know that what we focus on you know is what we attract and so if you're focusing on you know oh this person isn't here this isn't happening or this is going wrong you know you're going to attract in more of that but if you look up and you look at what the universe wants to offer you, wants to give you, wants to show you, and the fact that there is so much love around you, no matter what is going on with a certain person, you are deeply loved. You recognize that and things begin to move forward and you have a say in that. So you have some positive things coming in. It could be almost at the moment where things feel the most challenging, suddenly everything begins to shift, but it's you getting out of your head and into your heart space. Your person and their intentions has the um, strength card. Oh, and Sagittarius energy could be significant with that Wheel of Fortune. Um, your person has the strength card. Leo energy could be significant, but I do feel like this person is interested in you. You make them happy. They feel about you the way they feel, you feel about them. But what needs to happen is some kind of courage, some kind of bold move. Um, this person is learning to follow their heart as well, and it's leading them straight towards you. They're finding a confidence that maybe they haven't had before. So the potential outcome cards, and we'll pull, pull a few clarifiers on these as well. Um, I'm going to do theirs first. Are the Five of Wands, the Chariot, and the Hermit energy. It's very interesting because we have this energy. Leo energy, again, could be significant. This Five of Wands of somebody feeling conflicted. There could be some sort of difficulty could have been some sort of challenge something between the two of you maybe a miscommunication maybe things came out wrong maybe you know um um this person feels like they might have to compete for you obviously not for everyone but for some that they might have to take a stand for this but they are feeling a little conflicted about some things and I'll pull a clarifier on that but with the chariot they want to move forward regardless and it's very interesting because right next to the chariot we have the hermit card um could be dealing with the 
Cancer or a Virgo energy, but I feel like what's coming up here is this person is giving a lot of deep thought. There's a little bit of quiet energy here, but they're giving a lot of deep thought around how best to move forward. With the Strength card and the Chariot card, this is someone who wants to um, who wants to make this happen, wants to move forward with you, but they're a little bit conflicted. So let's see what let's see what we can find out about these cards. Spirit, why do we have this Five of Wands? Why do we have this Five of Wands? Why do we have this Five of Wands with Aquarius' this person? Why do we have the Chariot here? What is it that... Okay, way too many cards. Okay, what is it they are wanting to move forward towards? And... Okay, once again, all, so many cards keep trying to jump out. Why do we have this Hermit energy? Give me a little clarity around why we have that Hermit energy. Okay. We have the Hermit clarified by the Four of Cups, which means this person is not really happy in their in their present experience if they're missing you or if they're away from you. Um, but it is somebody who is kind of a little focused, like on... I don't know, maybe a little bit on their self, a little bit on the things that they have to do, kind of like these daily like humdrum things. And, and they're almost, it's like they're almost not seeing the potential of what all this can be. Clarifying the five of wands, we have the fool. I feel like this person at the top of this reading has this fool card. They want to take this leap. They want to go for it. They want to be spontaneous, but they're conflicted about that. It's like a stop start energy. It's like they want to take this leap. They want to be spontaneous. They want to make this happen. And then they kind of overthink. Well, what about this? what about that but the chariot card is clarified by the temperance and the queen of cups this person is definitely having some deep feelings for you and interesting that we have the queen of cups and the king of cups here this is a match. This is two people that have feelings for one another. This is two people opening up. This is two people sharing how they feel. And it's right next to the temperance card, which is all about the two of cups in the hands of divine. It is the connection. It is It is the um, the connection that's meant to be being, being guided. And I feel like this person is, in a sense, being guided towards you. Um, but I do feel like they second guess themselves a little bit and, and they do, they do struggle a little bit with having the confidence to do something really spontaneous. And sometimes that would, that's what love takes, but they're seeing signs of you everywhere. They're being guided. And with the queen of cups showing up here, um, there's something with the chariot card. There's something about this connection and about being with you that is very healing for this person. I feel like there could be a strong psychic connection. I feel like the two of you could pick up on each other a lot and see signs of one another, but this is somebody who do, does want to make this happen from their heart. But I do feel like with that hermit energy, it's almost like they're, it's almost like they're a little used to being on their own and their struggle really is kind of like taking a leap and really taking a step towards someone means making some changes. But your potential outcome cards here, Aquarius, are the Emperor, the Ace of Swords, and the Artist. Very powerful energies here. The Emperor, Aries energy could be significant, but when it comes to a love reading, it is the energy of that person that you're connected to, like that one person that you're drawn to above and beyond all else, the person that steps up, the person who's very decisive, the person who's very sure. So it's very interesting that this person has this kind of over here, like all these feelings for you, but this back and forth kind of energy of second guessing themselves. But regardless of that, you have an emperor energy showing up with an ace of swords which is someone getting very clear very sure who you are how they feel and taking steps towards you and I think it has to do with you getting some clarity as well with the ace of swords that is a new beginning some of you could be meeting somebody completely new but for some of you it's just like what I said someone is thinking about you and seeing you in a new way maybe in a way that they never have before and definitely as the one the final card is the artist and I'm going to go ahead and read that and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about that again but for me it's kind of like that energy of um, making your dreams a reality. Artists are creators. The artist is the vessel of creation. 
The card signifies humankind and shows when you need to open to the knowledge that is available if you stop and set aside the distractions of the human condition and listen. Visionary, interpreter, creation, passionate. I feel like what Spirit is saying here for you is that you have a match. You have someone that is specifically connected to you and that is coming towards you and that I feel like I mean with this kind of energy um with the emperor energy that you're meant to meet um there's something about you getting really clear and telling the universe this is what I want this is what I need in a connection you might even tell if you're dealing with someone who isn't really showing up for you because I feel like you're kind of done um with any kind of energy or anyone that sort of leaves you questioning yourself or feeling out in the cold you're over that you're ready for a big change the universe is spinning the wheel you're ready for forward movement you're ready for the kind of positive abundant life and that you deserve and love and finances and everything across the board it's all one and the universe is like bringing this to you i mean it's very powerful in this reading but you are the you are the creator like it all starts with you what it is you want what it is you communicate and you being the visionary of the kind of connection and the kind of life experience that you truly want telling the universe communicating to the people if you need that are in your life and expecting genuinely expecting the kind of person that you know you want to be with and watching it unfold because look at this look at what you've got here in april you've got a ten of cups and a king of cups energy this is meeting and falling um potentially falling in love could be very deeply in love with the kind of person that um that you could be happy seeing every single day like for the rest of your life with that ten of cups it's a beautiful energy and it's very connected to where you are focusing um your thoughts and your feelings and um and what you are willing to accept and not accept in your life so powerful message very interesting aquarius i really like it for you um if the reading resonated, I would love to hear. This did feel kind of specific. So I love hearing um, when a message comes through. The last three readings I've done, all of them, I was like, it almost felt like a little bit of like a personal reading because such specific energies came through. So I love hearing like when you guys are like, yes, that was my reading. Like it, it helps me be more confident to share the messages, even if they seem like a little unusual and I don't really understand what I'm channeling. Um, when I hear that it connected and someone needed to hear it. So I love that. I look forward to hearing from you all. And um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know if I said that. I would love if you would. I am going to be doing some giveaways once I hit 20K. I haven't done like a celebration thing since way back when I hit 1,000. I give away a free reading. So I'll definitely be doing some things. I just hit 15, so thank you all so much. And when I hit 20, I'm planning to do some special things. So love you all would subscribe and if you'd like a personal reading my website is charitygenice.com two new projects twin flame empress for those of you that resonate with the twin flame journey i'm doing weekly twin flame messages there and charity janice energy readings doing readings energy readings every morning um every monday morning collective messages just to give us a little something to get through the week so those are my two new projects you can see all that in the description box love you all i'll talk to you soon